They're young men who are extremely good at what they do. They've had an opportunity to come over here and hang out with some Maasai Rangers. Guess what, you're going to Africa. What? I was a bit freaked out really, eh? Yeah, all sorts of things were running through my head. You know, it's really amazing, you know? A lot more people get a chance to do that, and lucky enough to be one of those guys. Do you know why you're able to go on foot patrol? Do you know why you've had all these experiences? I said, yeah, we're rangers. It's a possible death sentence, you know, being a ranger here leaving wives or husbands or children because they care about the environment and they care about conservation. Range has to give out all his life. They've been with one life since they are kids. I grew up next to the park. My father was a conservationist. I'm a spokesperson for the animals because for them they don't talk. Somebody must speak for them. Poachers will never end. It is something that is rooted in the communities. Because these guys, they have like, you know, do or die, we have to get this animal. If you want to protect wildlife, you need to look after the rangers. And if you don't look after the rangers, there's no protection of the wildlife. I'm waiting, waiting for the kingdom. They realise that there are people everywhere a part of this family, you know, the ranger family. We say all our country all together. I'm not alone in this work. We are brothers, we are sisters, we share the views, how should we conserve? If we can't uh, protect and come and tell the stories, the culture will end up uh, finished. Well, going black and thousand suns, one of these days I'll kill you.